Introduction to Magnetism Most of us are familiar with magnets. We find them in various forms in our daily life. You must have noticed iron nails getting attracted to a piece of a magnet. Then there are magnets that we use to stick notes on our fridge. You must also have seen magnetic chess boards. Here the coins stick to the board and allows us to play even when we travel. Let us learn more about magnets and their properties. Why do some materials behave as magnets? We have already known that all atoms are made up of tiny particles called electrons, protons and neutrons. Each of these electrons is a tiny magnet. When we have a large number of electrons pointing in one direction, a small magnetic domain is formed. Materials that can be magnetized are made up of many domains like this pointing in all directions. When all these domains point in one direction, the object becomes a magnet. In some materials like copper, these tiny electrons never align and hence cannot be magnetized. These materials are non-magnetic. Every magnet has two poles, north and south. In magnets, like poles repel and unlike poles attract. When we bring the like poles of this bar magnets, we find that they repel. When we bring unlike poles together, they attract. Magnets come in various shapes and sizes. Every magnet has a magnetic field around it. We can identify this magnetic field by sprinkling iron fillings around a bar magnet. When we do this, we can see the iron fillings aligning themselves along the magnetic field of the magnet. Our earth is a magnet and has two poles, north and south. And it has a magnetic field around it. Uses of Magnets Magnets are used in many home appliances like doorbells, telephones, computers, tape recorders, etc. Magnets are used in electric motors and generators. Magnets are used by scrap metal sorters to separate metal and magnets are used in compasses. Try to imagine a world without magnetism. There would be no telephones, televisions, fans or lights. None of these can work if there is no electricity and without magnets we have no electric motors or electric generators. It is the magnetic field that prevents harmful radiations from reaching the Earth's surface. If the Earth had no magnetic field around it, all radiations would enter the Earth's atmosphere and Earth would no longer be able to support life. Now we have known that magnetism plays an important role in our life. We have electricity and all those appliances which make our life comfortable with the help of magnetism. Most important than any of these, it protects Earth from the harmful radiations and thus supports life. We will learn more about magnetism in the coming session.